It's springtime, it's March, mid-March, and the summer weather is approaching. It's getting warmer every day. It's supposed to be hitting the 80s this week here in Lake Havasu. My sister just sent me a message reminding me that uh, today is Pi Day. It's 314. It's March 14th. Um, for those of you not familiar with pi, it's a mathematical number that is super, super long, and I've got to tell you a story about that. So this is pi. You can see this is just a huge number, and it just keeps going and going and going. Before the days of computers and being able to look up this number like that, back in the days where you actually used books, I was in seventh grade, and I was a super, super geek. You have no idea how much of a geek I was. Well, let me give you a taste of that. I had a friend, Will, and we decided to challenge each other to memorize pi as many digits as possible. And we set some sort of a, a deadline, I remember. Maybe it was pi day or something like that. So anyway, we went about memorizing pi as many digits as possible. And I think we had about two weeks or so to do it. And in two weeks period of time, I memorized it out 65 decimal places. Crazy. I could recite it 65 decimal places today. I don't know, maybe 20. 3.1415926535897938. It just keeps going like that. And it's it's such a weird, geeky thing to do. But to me, Pi Day signifies that transition, that time where you're going daylight savings time and you're getting ready the the days are getting longer it's getting warmer and with that i'm starting to think about summer travel plans i'm looking for some advice from you on where to go this upcoming summer i know that i want to go to europe probably leaving in august and coming back in october and that's crossing my finger that things work out with uh, the Megadoo group of people. I've attended Megadoo the last two years and just had a great time over there in Europe. And they're kind enough to fly me over either before or after the event and give me some extra time over there. And I'm hoping they can do that again. So anyway, if the planets align and I'm lucky, then I'll get to fly over there in August and fly back here in October. But prior to that, the question is what to do between now and August. And what I was thinking is I would ask you guys to write some comments below. And the places I'm looking to go are festivals like fermentation festivals, meditation festivals, yoga, holistic things, permaculture, maybe meditation, tai chi, qigong. I'm not a vegetarian, but I would like to go to things related to like uh, farmers markets, uh, art festivals, balloon festivals, things like that. So I'm going to be following the weather heading north. So I pretty much want to stay in northern Arizona, northern New Mexico, and the Rocky Mountains. So that would be Rocky Mountains in Utah and in Colorado. Uh, stretching up to Idaho, I want to attend an event up in Idaho, one of the van life gatherings like I did last year, and maybe hit the Tetons or Yellowstone while I'm up there and then heading back south. So sort of in the east, far east edge of Idaho and the western side of Wyoming. And if you can think of some events taking place in that area during that time frame, if you could just write some comments below of events that you're aware of or things that you've gone to in the past that sort of fit into this list or maybe similar items, I'd really love to read your comments and compile a list of interesting and fun things to do, and maybe I'll be able to drop past where you're at. Oh, I'm also looking to serve tea and do my book exchange. Both of those are free. Attend the events, set up, and do that. So if you're an organizer of one of these events, I'm interested in coming and attending and doing that. I know this is a short video. Apologize for that. I just wanted to get it out there and I'm just working on compiling my list for things to do and places to see and places to go for the spring and summer. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Savor the moment and I'll see you in the next video.